since we're kind of in the middle right now, I'm gonna take these rough stones. Um, none of these have been tumbled at all. They're just as we found them. Um, just a different variety. We've tumbled a few of these types of stones. We're kind of starting to recognize which ones are which. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw these in completely dry into a barrel and I'm going to put some ceramics to fill the rest and then I'm going to tumble the entire thing dry for a few days while the other stage two is going just out of curiosity to see what happens if we don't add any media or any water and see if it's a complete waste of time or if we get something interesting. All right, so we'll get our experiment going. This is our current setup. This Lotto double barrel tumbler, um, it just really speeds things up. Like I said, we're completely new at this, so we don't know what we're doing. We're just kind of figuring it out as we go. This is gonna just be our dry rocks. They're just straight how we found them, throwing them in there with a little bit of the ceramic media to fill the gaps and I'm not going to add water or grit or anything. I'm just going to tumble them just because I'm curious to see what will happen. Okay. So we're about 24 hours into the tumble. Check and see what we got. This is just a like a therapy band. It has been working great for uh, keeping the caps on this because if the lids come off uh, it can dry out. So this is my stage two uh, rocks that I've started. And over here we got the rough stage one rocks that I threw in with no water, no grit. So, so you can see this thing's going strong and moving like crazy. So uh, we'll see. I'm going to give these a couple more days uh, to turn and we'll see what happens. So I'm not really expecting much out of this, but it, not really even a whole lot of dust coming off of them, honestly. I mean, I'll, I think I'll put the picture up of the before on this, but looking at it, I don't see any real change other than maybe a little bit of kind of shinier spots on the surface. But it's just crazy the difference it makes with that grit and water. I'll spray it down. These really just look about the same as they did when I picked them up out of the parking lot. And these are, you know, same thing. These are all just uh, landscaping rocks. And these ones are going to need to go into a roughing stage for a total start. So maybe that's the video we'll do. Well, I pulled an ultimate bonehead move. These here were rocks that we wanted to put straight into the vibratory. We didn't want to tumble them because we didn't want to break them. They're already pretty fractured. So we just wanted to put them straight in there. And I mean, you can see on the edges of this thing, how rounded up they are and how kind of smooth it's, it's pretty dull still because it's been, you know, scuffed up, but there was quite a big difference in the surface between these and how those other ones looked once they came out of that stage two. This is one of the ones that, you know, we, we put the grid in, we put the water, rotated it out. Um, so this is about a week and this is really hard stone too. So it's, you know, it's not going to go lightly. So, um, but yeah, final conclusion on the grit factor. Grit matters big time.